Have you ever been in this situation before where you're trying to model something and you want to render multiple camera angles of it? So you decide to set up different cameras and render each of them separately. Then after that you decide that you want to change something and you have to do the whole thing again. Well, I have a solution for you. Instead of rendering each angle separately, you can turn on stereoscopy. This option in Blender allows you to have a 3D effect for your render, but it can also allow you to render multiple camera angles at once. Here is how it works. First, add in your cameras and position them around your object. To switch between the different cameras, select one and press Ctrl and numpad 0, or you can go up to View, down to Cameras, and select Set Active Object as Camera. Once you've done that, you can head over to the Output tab and check the box next, next to Stereoscopy and open up that tab. There are two options here, the Stereo 3D and the Multi-View. Stereo 3D allows you to render your render in a 3D effect, which turns it blue and red, as you can see here, and it's pretty in-depth, so we're going to save that for another video. For this video, you're going to want to switch it over to Multi-View. In the Outliner, you're going to see the names of the cameras that you've added. The suffix of each camera is what you're going to want to add in the Stereoscopy tab. For example, for the first camera, there is no suffix at the end, so underneath the left option, we're going to leave it blank. And then for the right, you're going to want to add the second camera suffix, which in this case is 0 .001. If you have more cameras, just hit the plus sign on the right and then add that suffix in as you can see here. Unfortunately, you can't rename the left and right, but if you decide to add more camera angles, you can rename those. If you go into the camera view, you're going to see all of the renders combined in the viewport, which makes it kind of hard to see your model. So to fix that, open up the Properties tab by pressing N, going down to View, and then to Stereoscopy, and switching it from 3D over to Views. Now you should be able to see your model. Once you've done that, you are ready to render. Once the render is done, you will see all of the camera angles combined into one. When you save it, it will separate all of the images into different files. Or, if you'd like to see it before you save it, click on this button on the top here, and then on the right side you can switch between the different images. Once you're happy with the result, just save it by hitting Shift Alt S or going up to Image and then Save As. But there you go, that is how you render multiple camera angles in Blender at once. If this video was helpful, consider subscribing because soon I'll be making a tutorial on this. And if that video is already out, you can find it in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.